Three for twenty, sir. Bro, is that is that Captain Morgan? In the flesh, Captain Morgan? How do you do, sir? Cool. Yeah, dude. Milady. Now in this warehouse, they have all kinds of stuff for the Renaissance Festival. They make Renaissance Festival stuff here. It's very cool. And we're gonna find some arrows. Very dark in this room. All right. Arrow shafts. So. Need an arrow shaft. We wanted something decent, but we're gonna look back here. Arrows. I used to have some with real fletching that was. They were for a game. Mmm. And I did not see them. Son of a biscuit. Yeah. Reveal thyself. Yeah, they were nice too. Son of a. All right, I'm here in the warehouse with my pal Dick, and we're gonna make an arrowhead for survival. All kinds of cool stuff in here. Let's check it out. A giant Easter bunny, magical cart full of arrows. Very amazing. We have bows. We're gonna shoot stuff. There's a chocolate bunny down there too. Let's follow Dick into the workshop. I've noticed a lack of everyday carry survival arrowheads online, so I've decided, with the help of my pal here, to make a survival arrowhead that you can put in your wallet or in your fanny pack or wherever. And maybe I'll sell them online. We'll see. Here we have the arc droid for cutting out the arrowhead shape. So far we have a nice little sharp prototype here. It's in the palm of your hand. Want to put a little hole in the middle, could tie it to a stick. You could use it for cutting small tasks with a knife you might need. The arc droid cuts with plasma. It is a plasma cutter. Very high tech. I wouldn't mind buying a tiny arrow like this, but why not make one? And why not sell them to the people at home like you? who would benefit from a tool such as this. We're gonna cut out that shape, put it through the arc droid, and see how it looks. We're gonna spray this adhesive on this metal here. It's like a scrap metal. We don't know what kind of metal. We don't know if we can heat treat it, but we're gonna find out, and that's all part of the fun. So maybe have some fun with us. Yeah. Whoa. You can tell I've never done this before. Here is first draft of today's arrow. Beautiful. With a stylus. So this is a stylus. This is gonna allow us to just trace our pattern real easy. And once we trace our pattern, Now we're going to give the arc droid a starting point, and that's going to be our zero right there. So it knows exactly where to start. And now we're going to go into a program called Simple Trace. We're going to select the order of the cuts. So this will cut from the inside out. So we can cut the holes first. We're going to home the arc droid. It's going to give it a starting point. This is the diameter. We're going to get rid of this diameter. And that's about, that's about a 3 8 inch hole, I'd say. I think that's about what we want. Yeah. Is that what you think? I think so. 3 8 Yeah. Everybody at home, if you can see the hole. Uh, so, 3 8 is point three seven five. Now we're going to pinpoint our second hole. So, we're going to go here. And we're going to push this again. We're going to push this. Again, in case you missed it, we're going to use the arc droid to cut out the arrow from this sheet of metal. It is scrap metal. We're not sure if we can heat treat it, but we're going to try. I couldn't tell you if it's 1095 or CPM3V or MOV, whatever. It doesn't matter. Stainless steel that rusts, so it's not stainless. We're going to trace out this arrow. We're going to shoot it at some stuff. Anyway, anyway. we got there the is. pattern. There is the circle. The half circle. Reattach the torch. And we're gonna hit run. We're gonna just go for a test run. So that's what we're gonna do first. So yeah. we're just gonna hit run. We're gonna see what happens. So there's gonna cut out one hole.
looks to me like it might have cut the holes a little off center, but we'll see. Here we have the plasma cutter. We got some air. We're going to use it to cut this uh, arrowhead out of the metal. We're going to trace the arrow one more time to make sure it comes out just right, but we think we have it perfect. Yeah, here we go. Let the cutting begin. Very cool. Yeah, in here. Down there somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. The arrow is somewhere in this pool of <laughs> sludge. Stuck to the back of People from YouTube, do you see the arrow? Please. Maybe oh I see it right there. Masterpiece. A work of art. Yeah. Now we're going to grind the arrowhead, get it nice and sharp, and then we're going to try to heat treat it. We don't know how the heat treating is going to go, but we're going to try. But for now, we're going to worry about the grinding. We're gonna grind the little edges off of the arrowhead. Yeah, the arc droid uses plasma and it leaves slag. And it leaves slag on the arrowhead. Yeah. And other metal items. So there we go. We're gonna try heat treating this. Ooh. And we're gonna see how it comes out. Alright. So we're gonna we're gonna quench it in transmission fluid. The ancient primitive technique yes. of transmission fluid. Vice grip this arrowhead. And we gotta get ourselves some transmission fluid. Oh, we're falling. So now you're just gonna wanna keep that slow, keep it moving around. Like, uh, yeah, just, we'll see if it starts to get cherry red. I'm just gonna wait for cherry fluid. We'll put it in a container. And this will start to get cherry red. Yeah, so when that starts to cool off, move it back in and keep that red. You gotta keep the whole thing. So move it back in and keep that part red. And you can you can hit this sideways if you want. Okay. Now. I'd say I'd say yeah, just pull it right in there. Get a little shot of it like that. There we go. There it is. My first time heating up something like this. Very exciting. I'm not quite the metal worker, but we'll get there. Yeah. Exactly. Boink. Sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. Mm. Look at that. Oh. 
Oh, sick. That's an arrowhead. And now, we need a whetstone. Dick here grinded down the, the edges of the arrowhead to get it nice and sharp on a sanding belt and whatnot. Now we're going to do a little sharpness test. Oops. So that's not real, that's not real sharp. It's just not, it's just not sharp enough. Yeah. So yeah, you'll have to get it really razor sharp. So all the, all the sanding marks are just pulling at the paper. Mm, that's what it's doing. Nice. So what you do is you yeah. get those out and you get it razor sharp just mm -hmm. by honing it. Right. And that gets it perfectly smooth and sharp. So we're going to get it sharp. Put it on the whetstone. Yep. Put it on the work sharp sharpening tool. Sir Dick of the warehouse Whoa. with his mighty blade. I think this is the King Arthur. I'm not sure what's doing this. We couldn't find the arrow. We did get the arrowhead made, the prototype, and I think it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take it home, put it on the whetstone, put it on the work sharp sharpening block, and we're gonna get it razor sharp. Yes. You drag it through the paper, it's got those little jagged lines. We don't want that. We want crystal clear cuts. We want cuts that are straighter than uh, an arrow. We do, very straight. We want it to go through the bear. We want it to go through a bear's head, out of the bear's head, and we're gonna have bear for dinner. Maybe some elk, some antelope, some jackalope, we don't know. This arrow is for what you want it to be for. Cutting tool, a tool for hunting, for food prep, for prepping small game, maybe even big game if we get it sharp enough. But we will push forward. This is stage one. Signing off, peace out.